There are different options in Blue Sky Plan to segment and remove teeth or to segment and clearly define a jaw. In a situation where you're interested in extracting teeth or creating copies of the teeth, you're going to be using either the automatic tooth segmentation, virtual tooth segmentation, or advanced tooth segmentation. In a situation where you have an edentulous jaw and you're going to be creating a bone supported surgical guide, then you would use the advanced jaw segmentation. Each one of the different tooth or teeth segmentations vary in terms of how much time it takes and how accurate the results are. And you'll find in different situations, different segmentation techniques will be suitable. What we're going to take a look at now is the virtual tooth segmentation. Virtual tooth segmentation allows us to extract or remove teeth from the 3D view based on virtual teeth that are placed. And this could be done for teeth with roots or it could be done for just the crowns of the teeth without the roots. On screen we have two uh, virtual teeth placed. We'll place a third one just for demonstration purposes. Here we're placing the teeth with the roots and we could select small, medium or large. We could select the tooth that we want to place and if we hold down the shift key we can multi-select and drop in several teeth at a, at a time. Right now we're dropping in a single tooth, replacing it, changing the angle. If you double click on it, it becomes active and shows up in all the different views. The top right tangential view is a very good way of placing the virtual tooth, rotating 360 degrees around the virtual tooth and make sure it's properly placed. Change the size of the tooth, we could grab the nodes to change the length or the width, and of course to grab and drag or to rotate. Once we have the virtual tooth placed, in order to segment, first of all use virtual tooth segmentation, that's what we're demonstrating now, then select use active tooth model. And you can see what the software does is it imprints the virtual tooth on the actual CT scan. And if you want to change the model neighborhood, which basically would increase the area of the imprint and also what's going to be extracted, you could go ahead and do that. I generally reduce it down to zero. Advanced segmentation will take us to a different option for advanced tooth segmentation, which we'll demonstrate in a different video. If you want to see the segmentation data in 3D before you decide if it's acceptable or not, then you press the button and you can see how the segmentation is going to look if you kind of like a uh, print preview. If you turn off the virtual teeth, then here you can see how the segmented tooth is going to look. Let's turn back on the virtual teeth. Let's turn, go back to our full CT scan. And now we're actually going to press create surface and this is going to create our extracted tooth as its own surface and we're going to remove it from the 3D view. Now if we go ahead and switch to our surfaces panel, we could see that the tooth now exists as its own surface. Let's turn off, let's hide the virtual teeth temporarily. So there's our tooth surface and if we turn on the CT we could see the tooth is now missing. Okay, so now we could go back to segmentation and we could repeat the process for our other virtual teeth if we like. We can click on the next virtual tooth, choose use active tooth model. If we want to preview, we preview it and then create surface and then remove from 3D. And for this video, we're going to do it one more time. Use active tooth model, create surface, and remove from 3D view. The result from doing this three times is that we now have three different STL teeth. And we could toggle each one on and off, or we could press the column header and make them all visible or non-visible. And each time where we removed it from the 3D view, we have a different CT surface with the different teeth missing. If we only want 
let's say the original CT scan and the final with the teeth extracted, we could delete the ones in the middle. Another option is if we're going to be using this case for a surgical guide anyway, if we wanted to group the teeth together into one STL file, a simple way of doing that is just to export it as an STL, re-importing it using the direct functionality and they'll all be grouped together. So what we would do is we would go to file, let's turn these on, turn these off, we go to file, export data, so we're exporting the STL of the teeth, we go ahead and export them, and then when we go to import, we import STL model, And we'll, let's cancel out the alignment. Actually, already when they were imported, they were imported directly into the exact location. So now, in our surfaces, we have one surface with all the teeth, and we have them individual as well. Here, I did the same process using just the crowns of the teeth. I already exported them and re imported them as one STL file and I removed the extra CT surfaces. So we have one, which is the full CT. One is the CT with the crowns extracted. And here are the crowns that we extracted. All of our virtual teeth exist as well. And our individual teeth can be toggled on and off. Okay. For a more exact extraction, we could use advanced tooth segmentation which takes a little bit longer, but we're going to discuss that in a different video.